Hello there. I just want to go over a couple of things that are going on in the background. Obviously, you might have seen the 3D printing streams. That's just what I've been doing in my spare time. But um, alongside that, we have got another batch of the Metrum cases going. And this time I'm printing in this sparkly black rather than the matte black. I think it looks just as nice. So this is the first one and we've got quite a few orders. Key switches should be with me in the first week of April and key caps possibly the second week of April. So it shouldn't be too long before these can start to ship. And I'm going to get printing the cases now, but I wanted to show you something else. So one thing that cropped up on the first batch was people having boards like this. So this is the ZX Zero and I built this on stream uh, a few weeks ago. And there were a few people that had these boards where they were very short and the cables for the keyboards were set back. So what I started to do is I've made cutouts for the keyboard so that the keyboard cables can be at the front or the back. And let me know when you place an order, but I'm going to contact you anyway, asking you what type of board you're putting in. This is the one specifically for the ZX Zero. And I did make quite a few changes for the board, the way that the board fits in, and also for the IO panel on the back. So it's one panel that runs all the way across now because there are lots of different features on here. This is going to be an option. I haven't got round to adding it as an option that you can choose from on the shop just yet. I do have the Engo keyboard and a lot of these newer boards can work with the Spectrum Plus keyboards. But unfortunately, the Engo keyboard will only work with the Engo or the Spectrum Next. It will work as a basic 48K keyboard, but you need extra circuitry to make it work as a Spectrum Plus or a Toast Rack style keyboard. So I am working on my own design and I'm waiting for the first prototypes to come back. It's based on an existing board where they've got the circuitry to do the dual membrane because the Plus keyboards actually had two membrane layers and they're physically split so you can't just join them all together. And I'm going to be using these same keycaps from Manny and I've tried to keep it close to the plus layout so the cursor keys are either side of the space board. So that's on the way. So they're the main things that I wanted to talk about. My next big video project, again, it's in the works in the background, it's progressing very nicely. You may have seen quite a few things on my Twitter page if you're interested, go and take a look on there. Um, I do have the first working prototype and I'm waiting for circuit boards to come back from that. So thank you for looking at just a quick top down talking hands video. And hopefully it won't be too long before we have uh, another proper video along the way. I recently passed the 3000 subscribers mark. Can't thank you all enough, especially all the people that watch the very first video, the Commodore 64 video. It was shared on a social media page and it brought in loads of new viewers and uh, it went crazy overnight. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. You might have also seen that I've been posting some shorts and I've just found that that's a great way to share between different platforms. So Twitter, Mastodon, Discord, uh, just keeping them nice and short. But like, for instance, on Mastodon, you can't upload big videos like you can on Twitter. So I thought that made sense. I hope that doesn't bother too many people. Right, that's it. Thank you, and I will see you all very soon.